Hello everyone, welcome back to Critics News. The updates never end though. May we go straight. No time to waste your time at all at all as it be now. I'm Barrister Lawyer Jimako will be the leader I'm of the lawyers where they represent Mazen the Kano, the IPOB leader. Don't come out, come make clarifications concerning the news report where they fly up and down. Um, just something like this. Um, you can see here. Um, IPOB, Nam the Kano six out of court settlement with Tinubu's government. Um, Barrister Lawyer Jimako don't come out, come debunk that. He say, nah, no, be true. He say, nah, lie, you do, you Look at it here. News report claiming Kano six negotiation with Nigeria's government is false. IPOB leaders lawyer Jimako clarifies. Make we go into details. There is no time to waste time. May I go tell on a waiting they happen and how they matter. Takes it down on top table now. But before we do that, very, very quickly, I don't want to waste your time at all, at all, at all. In case you day abroad, you day Ubudu, you day UK, USA, America, UAE, EU, Europe, and then Canada. Hmm. And you won't help your family for Nigeria by sending them money. You know what? Oh, yeah, get good news for you. You get one app where you feed and look from Play Store or App Store where they call Tap Tap Send. Hmm. To send money now, don't be like a uh, small picking something. To send money now, just, uh, 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 just say a very simple, the simplest thing for you to do now is to send money. You know, they had again. So download the app. You know what you could do? Use my promo code where they call uh, Critics News in capital letters, all right? Where they see for screen there. They will give you additional money. Because as my fans now, I want to be appreciating all of them. <clears throat> so, they will give you, at least if I give you five pounds, on top of the money where you want to send, go, give me, go meet your family. Now, good thing. I beg. So, I'll give you five pounds. With my promo code, uh -huh, they will give you five euros. With my promo code, uh, they will give you ten dollars. With my promo code, they will give you 25 AED. In case you do all those Dubai uh, countries there. They'll give you 25 AEDs on top of your money where you want cent. Do you know what? Their rates are very, very high. And you will, you will testify after using that very app. So just screenshot and use my promo code, Critics News in capital letters. And <laughs> Utilo, you, you understand? Uh -huh. So make I clarify on uh, Mazenam the Kano's case. Now, news report claiming Kano 6. Um, negotiation with Tinubu's government is false. Now, waiting, Barista Lawyer Jimako, they tell us. Barista Lawyer Jimako, special counsel for the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, which is Onyen Dumazen Nam De Kano, has described news report by some media platforms titled Kano 6 Negotiation with Federal Government as false. So, he said the way where they take put them, um, say no be like that, he take day. So, if you look up, you will see IPOB, that is from a uh, People's Gazette. You will see that it is different from what Sarah Reporters reported here. You see, Sarah Reporters said, Court directed Tinubu government and then Nam the Kano to negotiate, seek reconciliation. IPOB leader's lawyer clarifies. You see that? So it is totally different from Nam the Kano seeks out of court settlement with Tinubu government. You see him? So you can't be like saying that the canon I can't go the beg Tinubu. That is what Barrister Lloyd Jimako is trying to clear the air about. Some sections of the media platforms have reported that, that Kano through a Jimako on Wednesday at the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja sought negotiation with the Nigerian government on terrorism charges leveled against him. But reacting to the report, Jimako described them as false. According to the lawyer, they caught Listen properly, this is to set the record straight. So share this video to correct that uh, conception or misinterpretation of his quote. He said, according to the lawyer, the court invoked the provisions of Section 17 of the Federal High Court, um, Federal High Court Act, and directed the Nigerian government and Kano to pursue to pursue reconciliation. That is uh, what the court recommended. He said, Muna, try go and settle, right? Pursue reconciliation. He said the news titled Kano 6 negotiation with federal government is false and a deep fake news meant to twist an idea that was muted as an alternative to trial. 
by the court and the parties. The truth is that the court directed the parties to consider the option of reconciliation which the law allows. That is what Barrister Lawyer Jimako said concerning this particular news flying from left, right and center. Make a play on the video of his clarification. So don't go anywhere. And you know what? Just help me touch the share button on this video so that um, we can correct this narrative now where we say they fly up and down. Question. Yes. So on what grounds do you intend to approach the federal government for negotiation? For negotiation in line with section 17 of the federal court. Exactly. Well, uh, what, what you heard in court about section 17 of the federal high court act is simply what the national assembly enacted the national assembly enacted at that section 17 that reconciliation shall be promoted by the court between parties before the court criminal or civil so it so happened and it came to pass that today that very issue was briefly considered in open court. So it is either for the court in its wisdom to initiate it and direct that parties do go and engage in such conversation, which the court did indirectly by not opposing it and by even suggesting it, or the parties themselves, either party, either the defendant or the prosecution can initiate it. So that's not very unusual. Uh, recently, we saw a situation where the Attorney General of the Federation took steps under Section 174 of the Constitution, which is very similar to Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act. He took that position to discontinue the prosecution of two very high-profile cases in this country. The first one concerning Wole, Yele, Shawole, and the second one concerning body job of Miete Ala. So these things are not unusual. So if they do occur as a conversation in open court, it's just as a matter of course. So people might wonder why such a situation should not apply to Martin Nandekano, Martin, 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 and that is what played out in court today. Well, we have gotten to that same point, I will call judicial statements. And more importantly, it has come to the point where national interest is supposed to come into play. I thank the lawyers for holding for to this particular moment. And I appreciate what the judge said, which is what we have been coming here saying from day one, that we cannot resolve this thing through the judicial angle at this moment. And we have said from day one, both from the moment his house was raided, from the moment he was uh, extradited from Kenya and so on and so forth, that numerous courts in the land have declared those actions null and void. So why are we still here? And the federal government has also adopted that same approach in the major issue where they fired uh, discontinuous. They have also done it in so many issues where they fired discontinuous. And when we, had, when we had all these issues in Niger Delta, there was reconciliation and discussions. When we had all these issues, even in uh, North East, there was the same issue. North Central, there was the same issue. So how come we have gotten to the South East, then nobody is having this conversation? So I'm pleased with the decision of the federal High Court today. It's already there under Section 17. And it's also there under Section 174 of the 1999 Constitution the government can discontinue and grounds for discontinue is national interest public interest and i represent the people likewise my brother other lawmakers from the southeast we can't go home most of the times there's insecurity everywhere people are being killed businesses are affected funny remittance to our place is going down because people are leaving those rural areas there is a matter of public interest and national interest that government considers this option provided under section 17 of the federal high court act and section 174 and the ball is now in the court of president bola Ahmed Tinubu government as somebody who wants to renew interest, it's time to renew interest in the Southeast by opening the gate and let Mazin Nandi can go home. And let's now open the conversation for addressing the challenges that led to this issue. Yes. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. It is no longer news now. You have heard the whole story here um, on how the matter take play out. So I wouldn't want you to waste time in touching that very share button. Make this video, make it a fly. We want to correct that very narrative that says that uh, Mazenam the Kanu is seeking out of court. They say no be him. Say that the federal high court now indirect a go tell Tinubu, tell the federal government, say, oh yeah. Make on I go settle this matter now while I don't too much. Now they give me a headache for for me for inside court. That was what Peter Nyako said. He said the federal government they give him serious headache. Him and the attorney general. May they go settle out. Say them be man. May they go settle. Him will be woman. They want you stress. Take you inside court. Now waiting Peter Nyako tell them. So I beg. 
Make una get the real story and share it. Thank you.